Hey guys, and welcome back to another FM22 transfer guide with me, Raxo FM, where today we are going over three signings and three sales for Galatasaray, a Turkish league side, a Super League side, that have not been winning the league recently, despite the fact that they have been up and down from first place for many, many years. The last two finishes, though, were second place and sixth place. So, this year, they're certainly going to be trying to get back up to the top, with, but, but with a media prediction of fourth place, this side, who is arguably one of the biggest in Turkey, is not quite reaching those heights. But with a couple of signings and a couple of sales, we can make sure they are right back in contention, push for European competition success as well as winning the Turkish League once again. If you are excited for that, please make sure you do smash the like button on today's video, as well as subscribing to the Rex of Fem YouTube channel so you don't miss the daily -ish football manager content coming your way. Please let me know down in the comment section below who you want me to do a three signings and three sales for next. This one was suggested by one of you, so it's proof that I do actually do them. So let me know, and without any further ado, let's jump into the video and see what this Turkish lead side want us to do throughout the season. They want us to play attacking foot them, football. They want us to develop players using the club's youth system, maintain the club's status as the most reputable club in Turkey. I feel like that's going to be one that creates a bit of an argument in the comment section. Uh, work within wage budget, challenge for the Super League title, and they want you to reach the group stage of the Champions League, as well as winning the Super League next year. So they certainly do want to get back to being the top club in this uh, country and potentially even push for some decent Champions League football finishes in the future. But for now, they just want you to be in the group stage, which I feel like is pretty respectable, pretty understandable, and pretty realistic. And with a finance of a pretty, pretty healthy £15 million, I feel like it's a pretty achievable goal. I mean, it's the one club that I think I've done this year that only gives you 80% of the transfer revenue that you bring in. So you're not getting everything that you sell. But with £15 million, pounds, I feel like you can't go too wrong with that. That's enough to bring in three very good players, five mil each, get, it, get them in on instalments. I think that you have no problems improving this squad with the amount of improvements that can be made. But first, we've got to get rid of some of the players that we don't need anymore. Let's make the sales before we can make the signings. The first player that we're selling is Ryan Babel, one of the highest earners at this football club, and that is one of the main reasons why this man is being sold. A value of 450 to 700,000 is not a lot, but 61,000 pounds per week. Ooh, that is going to do some damage to the wage budget. He has come in not too long ago, been a decent player starting just about all of last season, I assume, but now with a long career coming to the end. I think it's time to cash in on him. Get that wage budget back into the account, reinvest it into a better player, and have a, have a wee bit of money to spend as well. It's also based off the fact that the left wing, right wing position, which is where Babel is able to play, is not really our most crucial position to improve upon. We have some youngsters that can actually do a really good job out there and arguably do it better than him. We also have Arda Turan who can do a great job. Arda Turan. If you remember Arda Turan on this channel, let me know down in the comments section below. Absolute club legend for just multiple reasons. Uh, we've also got Faguli who can do a job out there. Oh, we won't talk about Faguli for too much longer though. Um, yeah, plenty of options in that position. And uh, the fact that the wage budget is so high for this man uh i think it's a very good intelligent decision to cash in on him in this save he has gone out to paok -okay, and he's still getting a pretty decent wage and we have managed to cash in with only three hundred thousand pounds i mean there was a lot of teams that did come in from but not many were willing to pay for all of his wages so i was more than happy to sell him to this club for that reason and get some money back into our account. Make sure that we do have the facility to bring in some players. Could even be some free transfers in there. And uh, now we can improve that left wing, right wing position. Because uh, unfortunately, Faguli is, is also leaving the club. And I will admit, this one is a much more controversial decision. Because he's still got a lot left in the tank. You know, this is a man who can do some seriously good stuff for this football club for a couple more years. However, £74,000. It's the same reason. Why I'm getting rid of Babel, except the fact that Faguli is actually probably going to be a starter if I don't sell him. But at 31 years of age, he is getting on, he is being paid a lot of money, and he's not even considered to be like the best player in our team. I will admit, he's probably our best right winger. 
But we do have other options. You know, this man who can do a job out on the right-hand side, not even a job, actually do a really good job. And again, this man who can do a really good job out there. So we definitely have options. We're not desperate for this position. And uh, for that reason, he's going to be leaving the club. I haven't even talked about the fact that he is worth 5.4 to 6.6 .6 million pounds. If you can get that kind of bids for him, that is brilliant. That is money that you can invest in a better right winger who won't who you won't be paying so much for and won't be so old. So I think while we can, it's a good opportunity to cash in on these two players. But it probably will mean we will have to sign a new right wing slash left wing player at some point. But for now, not many bids were coming in for other players. Both of these players are being sold. And for Faguli, we have sold him to Locomotive Moscow. And it's only for... Yeah, this one's quite bad. I will admit. That's, look, I had much higher bids. But he kept rejecting them. And I don't know why he ended up going with this team. But he did. And, and, and look, it was the wages as much as anything. £625,000. I'll just get... That's the number. That's what we got from. It wasn't great. It wasn't great, especially considering the fact he should have probably been sold for about 5 mil. But it is still a player that we didn't want at the club and wanted the facilities for other players through his wages, through a little bit of extra money. And we've already, we've already got 15 million pounds. I will admit, it was very difficult to sell players in this one. I will admit, I tried to sell about three other players before I landed on Fagouli. No one wanted any of them. It just... Just come on, cut me a bit of slack here. The last sale as well, I'm not that proud of either. No one wants these players. Not, not in an insulting way to guess at Galatasaray. It's just a very difficult one to sell players with. Signing players with a breeze though, so look forward to that. The final player that we have sold is Amir Kilinich. I'm definitely not saying that right. But um, you're looking at it and you're thinking, Rack, so why on earth are you selling another right winger? You have an agenda against them. I do not have an agenda against them. They just happen to be the only players that anyone wants to buy. And we also still have these two players that can do a good job, as well as a couple others, you know, other two around. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. He's more of a central midfielder anyway, if you really look at his stats. We, we're not great on there. Anyway, he's the, one of the only players I could sell, I will admit, I said... For Gooley, you know, three players that I tried to sell before him. There was about 10 that I tried to sell before this man. But he was the only one that we could get a decent amount of money for. And we actually did end up getting a decent amount of money for him. 3.1 to 6.6 .6 million pounds. And I will actually justify the sale, the, the sale because he is 26 years of age. Has no potential. Not even going to be a starting player for us. I don't see any reason why. If you're actually going to try and go to the heights that we want to go with this team... You'd keep him around. He's only going to go down in value. I think it is an intelligent uh, player to sell. Maybe just not the best time to sell. But still, I back this. I back this. In this save, he has gone over to the La, La Liga for 3.8 million pounds. Come on, that's good. That's good. We brought him in on a free last year. We sold him for 3.8. Brilliant job. And uh, I know I was saying that the sales weren't that great. You know, Babel, I think Babel was a great sale, actually. But for, for Gooley, for the amount of money we got from, and this dude, okay, may, maybe not brilliant, but boys and girls, when you see the signings that I made with the facilities that we have been given, we've now got, like, £20 million to spend. I've done wonders with that budget. But first, we need to highlight the positions that we need to improve. Your right wing might be one of them. With all those sales made, this is what our team is looking like. And it's not it's not perfect, is it? If I go to my best 11, we could go with the CDM or we could go with the CAM. It's looking a little something like this. You know, you've got Beth, Timmy, Gomez. Let's go to the squad depth screen. It's my favorite screen. You could either go, you could go with either formation, to be honest. And I think either one would work really well. But we will highlight both of them just to, you know, create a fair equation going on here. And the first player that I want to improve upon, the first position that I want to improve upon it's obviously going to be the right wing slash left wing it's just I'm not even going to talk about it we've sold two right wingers and uh we don't really have many options anymore so that needs to be improved I would definitely prefer a right winger more than a left winger but if they can do both positions that would be brilliant the striker position is my second position that I would like to improve and that's because despite the fact that we have Beth Timby Gomez who apparently is a god in this game according to star rating but at 36 years of age i really don't think he is the future focused man for the job even though we have some decent loan players they're loan players and i don't know if we should really be relying too heavily on them even if this man 
does have an option to buy in the future for only 2.9, which is actually a bargain. Uh, I still don't know if he's the future of this football club. The other man just is more of a left winger, isn't he? And then our final option in that position, all the way down here, is definitely a right wing or a left wing. So a striker for me is definitely a position to improve upon because we have very average players who aren't even going to start for us and are on loan. There are uh, other options behind that for Timmy Gomes, who is 36 years of age. Striker is necessary. And my third position that I'm going to improve upon, I'm not even going to try and tease you with the defence. The defence is fine. We've got this man to put Van Arnhold at left back. We've got this man to be a, a secondary option. That's fine. Right back, we've got you know three options. One of them with a significant potential. So nothing wrong with that position. Centre back, I mean, it's not beautiful. Actually, no, it is beautiful. We've got a 25-year-old Brazilian and, and, and a 22-year-old Danish player. As well as some decent cover. We're fine there. That is beautiful. At, at goalkeeper, we've got four options. Four options. One of them on loan, I will admit. But four options. No one wanted to buy any of them. Of course I tried to sell the goalkeepers. What are you mad? Of course I tried to sell them before I sold Faguli or the other dude. But the central midfield, that is where we need to improve. And I'm not saying that the central midfield does not have a lot of options. It just doesn't have a lot of class. And that is me being a wee bit mean. Because in, in Football Manager, you know, they don't always reflect how good a team actually is. But it's it's got one three-and-a-half star current ability player. And he's on loan from Fiorentina. I don't think I need to see any, say any more. Striker, right wing slash left wing, central midfielder. You good with that? We're going to go sign some players. The first player that I've signed is, of course, the player on the thumbnail. And a player I have no idea how I have signed for this Galatasaray side. 27-year-old. Spanish international experience player Paco Alcacer, a man who has played in the La Liga for Barcelona, for Vin Valencia, for Villarreal, and Borussia Dortmund, scoring goals left, right, and centre wherever he goes, coming in for just £9 million, could eventually rise to 10.5. Here's the signing of this video 17 finishing, 15 first touch, 15 heading. Plenty of mental stats, plenty of physical stats that are going to score you goals left, right and centre in this division. I have no idea why I need to be talking about him anymore because he is insane. 27 years of age, still able to improve. And I know you're saying, Rex, you were complaining about Faguli's wage. And, and well, is Alcacer like twice the player that Faguli is? Yes, he is. He is going to be our starting striker for years to come. He is potentially the best player in this league. And that is me being, you know... Very, very flattering, but I think he is arguably the best player in this entire league, not just our team now. What a signing he is. He is night and day better than Bafatimi Gomez, in my opinion. I mean, you can look at it and say, oh, Bafatimi's got a bit more fit, oh, a bit more fit, oh, yeah. No, nah, look at this, uh, the, the deliberate attributes, mate. You want one extra dribbling? Go ahead, go with Gomez. You want three extra long shots? Go ahead, go Gomez. He has an 11 average to his nine. How this game is even slightly considering. Mate, he's a bit more strong, maybe. But, come on. It's Paco Alcacer. He scores goals for fun. Beth Timmy Gomez is 36. He is 27. He's got nine years below him. He has bags of ability, potential ability. And he's going to be your goal scoring machine and your Galatasaray save. Enough said. The next player I have signed is your central midfield option, and it is Amadou Diawara. And I'm sure I've butchered that first name, but I think I'm saying this last name correctly. The man that comes in from Roma at three and a half star counter ability, four star potential ability, definitely more of a CDM, but can of course play in that central midfield spot as well, just as long as you're on a more defensive duty. Beautiful stats to do that job perfectly. And he comes in for just £5 million. Could eventually rise to £7 million, But of course, even that is a bargain for a man that has room to grow. Ability to start left, right and centre. Is considered to be about as good as Alcacer. Apparently, I think Alcacer is a bit better. But, you know, apparently just as good. And is certainly going to slot straight into that central midfield position. Alongside all the rest of the players. What a signing this man is. Again, a high wage. Probably about the same as Babel. But... If you were told, do you want Babel or do you want Diawara? You're going to say Diawara. 
And last, but certainly not least, this is the bargain of the team. Well, actually, uh, to be fair, the, the other two were massive bargains. But for just £2.5 million, could eventually rise to £5 million, Christian Pavon is your go-to left wing, right wing. Uh, we were talking about it all video. We knew we needed a new one, and this man is exactly that. He's going to slot in in that left wing or right wing position, depending on where you want to play him. Good player as a winger or as an inverted uh and inside forward sorry and he can play that striker position as well if you really desperately need him to and with all those signings your team is looking a little something like this so much better than it was before and that's not me insulting the team before that is just me complimenting my transfers because Diawara, Alcacer and Pavon are your th three best players now and can I prove that I think I can prove that look we've got okay well they're all in the equation for the three and a half star, Diawara, Alcacer, Pavon, considered to be your three, well, the, the, the three best with the biggest potential. They've all got a bit of potential as well. Can we talk about that? Like, I'm, I'm thinking for the future here. 25 years of age, four star potential ability for all of them. You know, Diawara is only 24, Alcacer is only 27. You got, you got bags of ability in these players. And I've still left you two million pounds to spend. That can genuinely buy you a starting player for this team. And I just, I loved making the signings for this. The sales were so difficult, but the signings were so easy because for some reason in Football Manager this year, all the players in this team are just really averagely rated. And you can sign like Alcacer, Pavon, and Diawara for like five mil a piece, which makes it so easy to just bring in brand new players who can start in this game for this team. And I, I, I just... I just loved it. It was brilliant. I think I've turned this team into an incredible one. Are they now considered to be the favourites for the title? Surely they are favourites for the title after this. Season preview. We're now, we're now considered favourites for the title. We are now considered favourites. And they've still got Gomez. And have they not heard we have brought in Alcacer? Alcacer. Alcacer. Mate. High star rated player. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He does look quite good to be fair actually. But Alcacer. Oh, Pjanic. We'll go without him. Yeah, no, Pjanic is probably the best. Yeah, but Alcacer is pretty close second behind this goalkeeper as well. But this goalkeeper's not even in the best 11, apparently. Oh, no, it's the same. Oh, it's, that's his first name. Okay, got it. Um, Sweet. That's the team. Done some good signing. Done some good sales. I hope you enjoyed it. Shout out to the guy that recommended this video. Make sure to smash the like button if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new around here. Let me know down in the comment section below who you want me to do three signings and three sales for next. I'll see you all later.